Happy Friday, everyone. Hello, I am Nicole. Welcome to my uh, card making Friday YouTube and Facebook Live. I should be live both places this morning for everyone who likes the captions while I'm actually live. It's Friday, June 16th, 2023. Can you even believe it? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot believe June is halfway over. Absolutely amazing. So I've been gone for a couple weeks. I had a girls weekend uh, two weeks ago. That was great for the soul. So good. Um, and last weekend, my parents were here, which was also good. And we had a memorial service for my grandfather, my mom's dad, um, which was a sad occasion, but he lived to be 99. Um, he lived an amazing life. And we just enjoyed getting together and honoring a great man. So uh, it's been a couple of weeks of <laughs> a lot of craziness. This week has been a lot of trying to get back to normal, whatever that might mean, um, which included Frank got neutered yesterday. Uh, so it's not all that normal. <laughs> And he's laying here on the floor next to me. He wants to run around and play, and that's a big no-no. So, <laughs> hello, everyone. It's so good to see so many of you here today. Um, I forgot to post this. That's the other thing. I forgot to post that I was going live until, like, last night. I was like, oh, my gosh, Nicole, you forgot to schedule it. So, thank you guys for being here, even though I was really late getting this scheduled. <laughs> I, Sandy, I am loving it too. Although Ethan and I were outside earlier um, with the dogs before eight o'clock and it is going to be super hot and humid here today. <laughs> it may not Hallmark said, poor Frank. You know, he slept, Frank slept a lot yesterday, obviously coming out from anesthesia and stuff, but he did really good. Um, by evening, he was a little bit more awake, and of course, he was so hungry because he hadn't had any food, but I could only give him a tiny bit, and he slicked that out. And then this morning, he slept good all night. This morning, he was ready to eat, but he's still a little slow, but we're just having to be really calm, no running around, which is hard. <laughs> So it's good. Yeah, he'll be good. He's doing really, really great. Yes, I'm Ginger, I'm so glad to be back too. I'm glad to be back with my regularly scheduled programming. I'm very much a creature of habit and schedule. And when my schedule is thrown off, it tends to send me into a little bit of a, <laughs> a downward spiral. <laughs> oh, yes. 10 days in the cone about killed. Yeah. So I have the cone and so far I haven't had to put it on. I've threatened him with it. I'm like, we're going to put the cone on, but he's doing really good. He's sleeping right now. So I'm just going to leave it off. But if, if I say hold, please, it's because I have to go get the cone. <laughs> oh, good. Some rain in central Pennsylvania. Handmade, not Hallmark said that's awesome. Oh, gosh. It sounds like Melissa and Sandy are having great weather in Central California. It's cold in Michigan, Lynn said. Oh, no. Well, it is hot already here today, so uh, I'm probably going to be indoors. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, we are getting closer and closer to 100K here. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I go live here um, once a week for card making, usually just once a week. Sometimes I'll throw in an extra here or there. Um, I also have been doing weekly stitch with me's here on my channel uh, for my cross stitchers. So that is going to actually even continue. I just posted in that Facebook group. So if you are here, if you're here, I know you're here for card making, but if you stitch to definitely check that out and I will post about it later. My beautiful friend Carol's here. Carol had a fun announcement this week. Hello, Carol. She's going to be on HSN, so that is super exciting. Love you, friend. Um, let's see. Ginger says she's a creature of habit, too. I am just not a fly-by-the-seat-of-my-pants kind of girl. I've gotten better as I've gotten older. Um, I used to be really difficult. I'm sure my parents are shaking their heads yes. Um, where I just, I didn't like when things got changed. It made me super grumpy. And I have two kids that are that way. My boys are both that way. And so I, I just try to remind them, you know, as you, you wisdom with, with age comes wisdom and you get 
smarter and know that these things are going to happen. So I roll with it better than I used to, but it does, does tend to make me tired. <gasps> Handmade Not Hallmark got her Glimmer Hot Foil Machine and loves it. Oh my goodness, I love that. Sandy loves having me live twice a week. I love it too. It's really good for me. Um, obviously, I work from home. I work alone. So I, it's good for me to have this connection with you guys and not just answer comments. Uh, so for me, it's it's a very good thing. Hello, Miss Shari. <laughs> Carol, this is so embarrassing. I was going to text you later. I found the thing that I was supposed to send to you last, um, like, October. I found it in a pile. So I'll message you later. <laughs> um, Ginger says, I've asked before but can't remember what you said. Where is a great place to get stitching charts? I used to be an avid cross-stitcher and would love to get back into it. My personal favorite is Fat Quarter Shop. Um, they're going to have like everything you need, floss, charts. Um, they also have a great cross stitch YouTube channel where it will take you back to the beginning. Also teach you some new things. Like it taught me some things that I didn't know when I came back to cross stitch. You can get your needles, your fabric. I think it's a great starting point. And then you can kind of branch out from there when you find designers you like and things and maybe visit their Etsy shops. But I would start at Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, working from home, Jenny said, can be very lonely. Absolutely. I have to remind myself sometimes, get out and go do something. Like, I go to the post office, visit with the nice lady at the post office or or the guy that works there, um, you know, or go grab a drink, go grab, grab a coffee. Starbucks is opening across the street. I just found out this week. That's really bad. <laughs> like, really bad. Oh, well. And then we have two. Well, it looks like a little local coffee shop is going in, which I'm excited. I'm really excited to try that. I hope that um, Starbucks doesn't kill it. <laughs> and then we have we have a scooters already. And so I'm like and they're like, boom, boom, boom. And I don't know that our area is big enough to support that, but guess we'll see. Sandy agrees about that quarter shop. Great. Carol, it's not. I'm so embarrassed. In fact, if you weren't here right now, I was so embarrassed when I found that. So anyway, well, it'll be a Christmas in July surprise for you, Carol. <laughs> yes, Susan mentions there's great service from Fat Quarter Shop. And Jenna says, yay for Starbucks. And Carol says, yes, I know. I'm like, oh, that's so bad. I mean, I make coffee at home, which is probably what I should do because it's so stinking expensive. But you can bet I'll be over there. I'll be buzzing right on over. <laughs> Uh, yes, Sophie, Friday Live is back. I'm super, super glad to be back. So I thought I'd come back with a bang. Um, I did share one of these cards earlier this week, but I saved the video for the live because I thought it would be a really fun live to do. Um, we're going to make several cards. Uh, I did this pretty pink posh. I haven't put this on a card base yet, so it will be sturdier. A shaker mug card. I love that Pretty Pink Posh keeps coming out with add-ons for their mug shaker. I think that's really fun. Uh, the little clay shapes inside, super cute. Like I made this like a little iced drink with the little ice cubes out of Lawn Fawn pearlescent vellum. Um, and then there's different fruit. So there's four different new shaker combos, and I thought, well, we need four different cards, don't we? I love taking a design and then making multiple cards with that same design. Oh, hand me no, I love your mug. Thank you. Um, I had to have more coffee this morning. Let's see. That's so cute. Yay. I'm glad to be part. I am too, Kate. Thank you. Luna, you can just pour your Starbucks into your mug and we'll never know the difference. Oh, I'll be honest about it, Luna. If I'm, I'll be honest about going. You can bet when they open, I'll be buzzing right on over. <laughs> I love the mug series too, Terry. It's so good. So I probably should get started because I did die cut pre-prep a lot, but it's going to take a minute to put things together. Sandy just thought she couldn't find the video. I meant, it, so if you missed it, I said at the beginning of the video, I forgot to post that this live was coming until last night. I'm sitting cross-stitching and I'm like, oh my gosh, duh. So um, sorry about that. I meant to post that. 
I just thought it would be a really fun one to do live. Shaker cards are always really fun. And this is pretty low profile. There. I messed up my stenciling on the back, so I just flipped this panel over. I need to put this on a card base. Yay, Robin, I'm glad I'm back too. Oh, thank you, Su uh, Suki Scrap and Fox. I just got my nails done yesterday. Shari says, treat yourself to Starbucks. You can bet it. Oh, thank you, Lilibeth. Um, this color is one of my personal favorites too. I love, and I have several in this color. <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny. I, I tend to buy, like, if I find something I like, I buy lots of things in that color, which was good. So here, I got to tell you guys a funny story. See me with my coffee. This is probably what happened yesterday. Um, Frank had to go to the vet very early, and Odin had to, too. Odin has an ear infection. So I went and dropped Frank off. Odin got his medication, came home, got ready, and I had a nail appointment at 9. And I've just started going to a new place. Um, I went this last time. And then I was going back this time. It's closer to my house, so I don't have to be gone as long, which is really great. Thank you, Lori Craig, for turning me on to the new salon. And um, But I'm standing in my kitchen, and I'm getting ready to go. I'm you know, putting some stuff in my purse, and I took a drink of coffee, and I look down as I'm putting money in my purse. I spilled coffee on my white linen top. So this is where having clothes that are similar could come in handy. I had another white linen top. That one was more of like a top kind of like this one. That one was more of a, so I went and changed and put a new top on as the moral of my story. It had a ruffle around the top, but oh my gosh, I'm so glad I caught it. I would have been so embarrassed showing up with coffee right down my shirt. Ah, oh well, it is what it is. Oh my gosh, did my chat stop? Oh, Shari, is your baby being needy this morning? Are your shelves really filled with fabrics you use? Or are those pictures? Susan, it's really fabric. <laughs> I've been collecting for years. And I, yes, I really do use it. Uh, hello from Costa Rica, Paola. It's so nice to see you. Sandy says, that's why I don't wear white. You know, I thought that. I have white jeans on. You can guarantee they're going to be dirty. Guarantee it. Let's see. Luna goes, Nicole is a stitcher. It's real. It is real. Okay, I do want, so I've had that comment a couple of times. Do you actually use your fabric? Yes, I do. I always go to it first. I do buy more. I am a collector. Um, however, I've been collecting for years. Some of this fabric is like 10, 12, 14, 15 years old. So it, it is not brand new, but I do tend to like the same designers. So they will bring out new collections that have similar patterns. And I like to mix and match, uh, which probably won't surprise any card makers because I like to do that in card making too. <laughs> Shari spills on herself all the time. Thank you guys for making me feel better. Sandy and Shari are making me feel better about that. Let's see. I've had toothpaste on occasion, Kate said. Well, I mentioned this in my stitching live Wednesday night. I always, not now because it's first thing in the morning, but that I'm sure that won't last long. I have ink stains all the time, no matter where I go. So if I go too late in the day, uh, I have ink everywhere. Let's see. Huh. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, Linda says, my mom used to say I could get dirty drinking a glass of water. Yes, my daughter is that way. Yes, <laughs> Lilibeth, absolutely. Oh, you guys are funny. Well, let's flip the camera around and let's make um, some cards, shall we? All right. So we are going to stencil the background first. And I love just a very simple stenciled background or an elaborate one. I love them all. And this new Starbur Starburst stencil is great. You may have a Starburst stencil in your stash already that will work. Um, but I love that it kind of gives it the illusion that almost like an ad, you know, where you see something in the foreground and it's like sh the shooting sparks or starburst out the back. So it really draws your eye in 
to what we're doing in the center. So I think any kind of starburst is gonna work here. Obviously this is a new one from Pretty Pink Posh, but if you have one in your stash already, consider using it for something like that because it's super, super fun. Oh my gosh, Danielle lived across the street from Starbucks and was able to see the drive through so I would call hubby and tell him it was empty so he could drive through with your order. Okay, I'm gonna tell Ethan that, that's hilarious. I can t holler down at Ethan and say, it's empty, go. I, I can't see it from my house, so. But it is just right, right out of my um, neighborhood and across the highway. Like four minutes. So I am actually going to learn my lesson. So remember how I said the back of this, I didn't get it centered? This is how. I found... that if I tape it down, we're not gonna get that shifting. You could use pixie spray if you wanted to. Um, let's see, there we go. Good morning, Penny. Luna says, need coffee. Luna, I swear I heard you say Starbucks stencil. Oh my gosh, did I? I hope not. Hello, Taylor. Oh, thank you, Susan. It is, I love crafting live. Um, I want to remind, oh, this, I can't believe I forgot this. Okay, a couple more things, you guys. I got to talking about my Starbucks and got excited. Two things. Pretty Pink Posh is on sale this weekend at Simon Says Stamp. There is a link in the description on this video. 25% off Pretty Pink Posh products. Now, I know a lot of the products I'm showing here today are sold out. I did look before I went live this morning. I planned this ahead of time, so I am sorry about that. However, if there is Pretty Pink Posh product on your wish list, this is a great time to pick it up. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, there is a code. I put it down in the description. Um, if you use the link, I appreciate it. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is the Hero Arts Mixed Media Stamp Along is coming in July. Um, I'm super excited. I am one of the teachers for that. Don't let the mixed media throw you. It is going to be very, it's it's going to teach you ways to use some of those really fun products that might be intimidating. Some of the teachers are super good with mixed media. Um, I am more of, I like to show how to take mixed media things and, and use them for your card making, but we're going to make a fun accordion book if you've ever wanted to just try some different techniques so we're making an accordion book. Each teacher will be doing that, and one of the instructors will be doing the cover. But I have also, and my sample is done. I am taking my page, and I made it into a card to show you how easy it is to take those techniques and make them work for your card making. So there is a link to sign up for that down below as well. Oh, Cassie, I'm so sorry. I was going to ask you how your, your other ba fur babies were doing. Let's see. Oh, gosh, Sophie, that's like my nightmare. Sophie says she works at a, at a large printer and once had a large toner bottle explode because it wasn't closed correctly, and that stuff does not wash out ever. Oh, my gosh. I would be sick to my stomach. So I am going to take some Fairway Positively Saturated ink, and we are going to do quick, quick inking of this Starburst stencil. And we're just going to pull the color, and you'll notice I'm not going all the way out to the edge. That's on purpose. I want it to kind of fade out towards the edges of the panel. If you get there out to the edge, that's okay, too. But just like that. So super easy. Yeah, I'm not a huge pixie spray person either. If it is a very, I see Karen and Shari talking about it. If it's something super, super detailed and like the stencil won't stop moving and I just have to use it because I love it so much, I use pixie spray. But it's sticky and messy. Guys, I have I have funny criteria, I think, for my crafting. 
We probably all do. <laughs> Shari says she can't deal with the sticky. Yes. Sorry. Oh, no. Dances with hooves. I'm so sorry. If only pets lived as long as we did. You know, yesterday for the first time, Ethan and I were talking about Brody. Um, and I didn't cry. <laughs> uh, and I also went and bought shadow boxes. Um, I bought four. I'm for my my two boys I currently have right now. Um, we're just gonna put pictures in them for now. But I got the boys. Um, I got Brody's footprint. They do a casting of the footprint after they've passed, and they do as many as you want. But I got that in the mail here a couple weeks ago or so. Um, and I have Cujo's from when Cujo passed a few years ago. And I'm going to print out my favorite photos and fill their little shadow box with a couple of little favorite things and hang them on my wall. Yes, I never use the Altenew stamp wheel for stenciling. I forget all the time. All the time. Thank you for the reminder, Suki Scrub and Fox. I have got to remember to use that. Oh, no, Sandy. Yeah, you know what I really need to get in the habit of? Putting on a craft apron. I really, really need to put on a craft apron. But I can't I think I know where mine is. I had one years ago. Pets are part of the family. Oh, really, Cassie? That's cute. She had a Shih Tzu named Penny. Shari had a, a Shih Tzu, or not Shih Tzu. She had a little dachshund named Penny. Okay, let's make shakers. No crying. No crying. We love our pets here. So I'm going to put this here. I kind of, oh, did I get, oh, yeah. So here is my plan. I've got all of my shakers. For each shaker, well, goodness sakes, get your stuff together here, girl. I have a front. I have an acetate middle. We'll just pop that out. And a back. So that this is kind of how I like to do my mugs. And the mugs, this is what I was saying at the beginning. Back last year, Pretty Pink Posh released the winter mug. So it came with the, the mug base, some fall and holiday themed little cuties, marshmallow. Uh, I love little ghost is cute. Anyway, so this you're going to need this as the base. And then this is like the little, what I call whatever liquid goes inside. If it's like coffee or hot chocolate, I do brown. I just did this light blue kind of just as a, you know, a refreshing drink for these fruity drinks. And then the new release has all of these fun add-ons. So it's got your window, it's got straws or the dark drink stirs, all these different fruits and even a sentiment. So there's lots of things here. And I did pre die cut. We're going to do a, oh, Bread. I just spilled all of my pieces. I almost said something worse than crud. Let me pick them up. So I have like lemon limes. We've got some cute little pineapples and then there's also some strawberries. So we're going to do like a citrusy card, a pineapple card, and a strawberry card. How do you get your acetate to cut, Nicole said? That is a great question. Okay, so let me. I do use the Spellbinders Platinum Die Cutting Machine. And with one pass, I do find it doesn't always cut great. Roll it back and through two to three times, and mine cut perfectly. But that would be my best advice is to, to roll it back and through a couple of times. I. I used to have a lot of trouble with an old machine I had that wasn't this brand. It's been several years. I do find the Spellbinders machine works pretty well. And acetate makes a difference. Uh, thick acetate is not going to cut great. This is Lawn Fawn acetate. I personally like Lawn Fawn or Hero Arts acetate. Those are my two favorite for die cutting. 
Yeah, so Cassie said enough of the sad stories. Don't think I'm not seeing it, you guys. I'm not reading it because I don't want to cry. <laughs> Taylor needs a craft apron too. Yes, I think we need craft aprons. Okay, you have a big shot. Okay, here's my other tip. If, if you're having trouble getting it to die cut, put like a piece of paper. This isn't ideal, but put, make a shim. Uh, there, there is a metal shim that you can get as well. I used to use that when I used the Big Shot. The Big Shot gave me trouble. <laughs> that was the other machine I used to have. They, The rollers do, I don't want to say wear out over time, but maybe they do wear out. They loosen. The, the, the sandwich loosens. Put a shim or two. So do, you know, your, your base plate. So do your platform, do your plate and your die, your paper. And then I usually do this and put another piece of paper or you can do it in between there and roll it through or underneath here, pardon me, roll it through. And that added pressure sometimes will help it cut a little bit better. Yes, Judy, that is a good point. I just hardly ever use my Gemini. I try to love it and I don't. Um, it does cut acetate really well. So if you have one, that, that should work too. All right. Let me pick up what I dropped on the floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to build our shakers. So let's go ahead and do one of these here. And um, I didn't even die cut all of the handle on this one. You don't really need it. So... Sometimes I just don't even worry about it. I do need that open though. Okay, so what I like to do is glue down the front. Kathleen says, cut the acetate between two pieces of copy paper in the big shop. That is a great tip. Thank you, Kathleen. Jen says she has a big shot and uses the precision base plate to cut acetate with no problem. So definitely check the chat. Lots of great tips there for what works for others and great suggestions of things to try. So we're going to glue our acetate to the back of our frame. I guess I didn't need glue there yet. And I'm going to do this for all of them. And I also do this to make sure it's nice and flat. Sandy says hers Big Shot does not cut acetate at all and has ruined so much. Oh, man. I, I really think it probably depends, unfortunately, which is just such a bummer. I, too, also used to have a lot of acetate ruined, so I understand your pain. Now... Here's a tip. If you don't have a die cutting machine that die cuts your acetate, take your sheet of acetate. I know this one's die cut, but pretend it's not. And kind of lay it over here and just cut a piece to fit back behind your window. Is it nice to have it die cut perfectly the same size? Yes, but do you have to have it? No, no one is going to know. So just kind of use your, your die as a guide or your die cut as a guide and just cut a little piece, especially for something like this, where a square is really all you need to put back behind here. So don't let the fact that you don't your die cut machine doesn't die cut it perfectly um, keep you from die cutting or part die cutting. Yeah, let it keep you from die cutting. Uh, keep you from making a shaker card like this. There's usually a way around it. <laughs> Taylor, that's funny. Okay, so after we have that done, I want to kind of fill the, I like to fill the front of my shaker not fill it, but if I have anything in it, so I've got ice cubes 
And my ice cubes, as I mentioned a little bit ago, are the pearlescent vellum from Lawn Fawn. And I love it because I just feel like it looks kind of like, kind of has that icy appearance to it. Regular vellum I also think would be really cute. And we're going to tuck these into this little area first. So I kind of like to lay things out for a minute. We have a straw. I didn't do the drink stir. I don't know why. I just didn't die cut it. So I want to glue down my straw and my ice cubes while this little opening is open. Then we're going to back it with foam and fill it with all the cute little goodies. Colleen has tried all of the things that we have suggested and it's not working. Okay, so maybe you can do what, as I kind of mentioned, and maybe just cut a little square or something if you're trying to do something similar. Hello, Michelle. Pink and green, my two favorite colors. Ah, that's awesome, Diane. So I generally kind of lay things down. This is the Nicole way of doing it, I suppose. And I love that you can see the straw down in here, so I want to keep that. I'm going to put a little glue where I can hide it. And we're just going to start gluing down some of our things. And each mug is going to have four ice cubes. I die cut a bunch of ice cubes. And to not get too much glue like everywhere, I like to kind of put the ice cube in. Whoops. And then I flip it over and I just put a little glue here. Instead of, if you put the glue on and then try to slide it in between those layers, sometimes it gets messy. Or sometimes you can touch your acetate with your glue finger and make a mess, as I just did. Oh, man. Okay, don't, pop, don't uh, pay attention to that as I drop everything and make a disaster. I like my reverse tweezers. You just kind of want to pinch that down until that glue starts to dry. What did you use to cut the window? Um, Sandy asked. In this new set, and also I believe some of the other Pretty Pink Posh sets, there's a window die. So you'll need the previously released mug, but then if you get any of the companion sets, they, they'll have like a window in it so you can die cut. But that's where it came from, the fruit add-ons. Susan says, if you double up your acetate, you should get at least one good piece cut. I have never tried that. That's a good tip, too. Oh, no. I hope you don't lose power either, Handmade Not Hallmark. Okay. I am just dropping things everywhere. It might be one of those days, everybody. The glue on the acetate does take a little bit longer to dry, but it's not too bad. And I am just gonna put a little glue on this one. Trying to use the clear packaging from stamp sets or other things if you're acetate. Oh, try! Penny says try using the clear packaging from stamp sets or other things if your acetate won't cut. That is a fantastic tip. Thank you so much, Penny. All right, one down. It really shouldn't have taken that long. Good grief. Maybe I'm going to blame it on talking. <laughs> Whether that's true or not. Jenny says dropping stuff is an everyday occurrence for her. Well, do you guys just feel those some days are more dropsy-ish than others? My mom always used to call it having a case of the dropsies. I really feel that probably is true. Well, good grief. Stay put. I had to have this set the minute it was released. Jenna said the only mug set I don't have is the Get Well one. I don't think I have that one either. There's a couple I don't have. I really feel like I maybe need to add a couple more to my collection. 
I love them. I really like these fruit ones because I love how much the clay shakers work with this. Kitty says these are so cute. They will be cute. This is truly the most time consuming part, maybe other than putting the foam. I did opt to do foam and not stack these. Um, you know, sometimes I'll die cut multiple stacked images. Sometimes I use foam. Just depends. I kind of d thought the foam was easier on this one. I'm going to put an acrylic block on that one to hold it flat while we work on our last one. Handmade, not Hallmark. I am loving all the fruit theme things that are being released. They are just too cute. I do too. I am loving every little bit of it. Um, so many cute things. It's kind of fun to see too that it is more than just paper crafting. I've seen it in quilting. I've seen it in cross stitch. Uh, it's just really cute. Cassie loves the fruit clay shakers. Me too. Daily dropsies, Tina says. <laughs> If I miss anybody's question, please ask again. I am sorry. Oops. I know that sometimes I miss it when I'm looking down, fiddling with stuff. Don't want to miss anybody. Don't move. I'm talking to my paper. You guys, my family doesn't appreciate my jokes. I found that out. Oh, Luna. Luna says, my family doesn't appreciate my jokes. I found out that a piece of Africa is breaking away, and I said we'll have to call it Africa, and no one laughed but me. Well, Luna, I laughed. That was funny. <laughs> and so many good suggestions in the chat for all things die cutting guys are the absolute best. Thank you so much. Handmade Not Hallmark says it's a nice change of pace from all the beachy things. I agree. I'm loving it, but we're definitely seeing it all over. Okay, so I think this is the first one I did. It should be dry. We're going to take some foam now and we're going to put it around the edge. And I think I forgot to link this, so I'll have to do it later. This is waffle flower foam. And what I love, A, it's super duper sticky. So there's that. But the strips are kind of skinny and nice and long. But it's so sticky, sometimes the backing doesn't like to come off. Luna, you found your people. We're laughing. Question, Terry says, is there another type of set besides the mug set for Pretty Pink Posh? What do you mean? Another set from another company? Okay, so if you take the backing off of both sides of your foam, and I know I've shown this before, but it makes it bendy. So let me show you a piece that doesn't have it off because we're going to need another one. So I have not taken the other side off of this one and see how it doesn't bend, but look at how much this one is bending. So you just have to take that backing off, which is super sticky, but worth it because you can manipulate it around your shape so easily. And what we want to do is we want to have it connect so that um, our shaker bits don't come flying out. And it is so sticky, but that's okay. Um, yes, it is so much fun, Susan.
and you're totally fine. Remember, uh, replay is available when I'm done at any time, so you can always catch it out from the beginning if you need to. I'm going to be covered in foam. I can see it already. Lawn Fawn has a mug, if that's what we're, another set from any company that expands themes using pieces from the original set. Oh, yes, 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 Terry, thank you. Um, yes, Lawn Fawn does. Uh, Pretty Pink Posh does, obviously. Lawn Fawn, I feel like I'm forgetting someone, let me think about this, uh, Spellbinders. Spellbinders also will bring out more things that go with previously released sets. They've done that quite a bit. Um, hmm. Who else, you guys? <laughs> Shari's back, Scout, needed to go for a walk. You missed nothing. Uh, although Shari will be able to answer all the Lawn Fawn questions, what sets ha um, have more things that come out that coordinate with the original? We're talking like this set from Pretty Pink Posh has the, had the original mug and then they keep expanding on that. And I know Spellbinders had like the Truckin series and then they have a car series that has a lot of things. They have the front door series. So I think there's quite a few. So we're going to fill this with our lemon lime mix. And that is what this one is called. And I just want to flatten it out. And I like to fill mine real full. I do put foam on the back of the handle so that it lays nice. Isn't that a cute little mix? And then we're going to take our back. Oh, thank you, Lily. My favorite things, Jenna, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, my favorite things also comes out with more sets that coordinate back to things previously released. If you guys think of more, drop them in the comments. Hello, Lori. Yes, Luna said they do the tiny, the little critters, Lawn Fawn does. Oh my gosh. Okay, now, hear me out. At this point, if you don't want to um, make this a card, put some twine or pretty string or ribbon onto the handle. I would have probably stamped this first. You could make this like a little gift tag. You could tie it onto um, maybe a, a bottle of something if you're needing a... a party favor or something. It's a great little tag to tie on presents. Wouldn't that be cute? Anyway, I just love it. Simon Says Stamp has some. Oh yeah, they do too. Where is the foam tape from? Karen, it's from Waffle Flower. I forgot to link it, I realized. So I will link it when I'm done. But it is Waffle Flower. I am going to go ahead and put a little foam on my bendy straw too. It's okay if it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Let's grab a background and a little liquid glue. Terry says, wonderful ideas. I'm gonna go shopping, yay! Oh yeah, Andrea, thank you. Tailored Expression this has a great little gnome series, um, which is super cute. My friend Jill does the cutest things with it. So if you guys follow Jill, she always has awesome little ideas with the gnomes. All right, so there is our shaker right in the center. And I love how those radiating starbursts just make your eye drawn into the fun of the shaker. So let's set that one aside and let's go ahead and put together our others really quick. Same thing. Michelle, you could use a shape die to cut a window if you don't have the add-on set. You could. If you have anything that fits on there, absolutely. This set just comes with all the fruit that I'm using today. And we're just going to go around the edge again. Oh, thanks, Michelle. 
I asked, I decided since I won't go back again before the 4th of July, I pro figured I'd probably better get my patriotic nails. She freehanded those stars. They are not stickers. You know how sometimes they like use the stickers or the confetti? Yeah. Kelsey is this girl's name and she uh, freehanded them. And I was like, oh my gosh, super impressed. <laughs> Work calls, Susan said. Bye. Bye, Susan. Um, yes, and Lawn Fawn is really good at having multiple um, things come out. So as Luna mentioned, they have the platform pop up and then they have add-ons for that. Um, different backdrops and things that you can use. So there's all, quite a few different ones there. I love to see that because it really does extend the life of the things that we love. Yes, um, Shari's talking about the uh, jar set, the How You Bean series from Lawn Fawn. Lawn Fawn is probably one of the best, I think, at keeping coming out with new and fresh ideas for things they've already released. Okay. So there is, I'm just going to try to keep my mess to a minimum today, clean as we go. This is going to be our pineapple mix. This is Tropical Paradise is actually what it's called. Oh, thank you, Danielle. I love that everybody's talking about all the sets from Lawn Fun that has all the, the different add-ons and things. That's fun. So I did pick a, this cardstock is Mermaid from Lawn Fawn. I did a blue mug because I thought it would set off like the, the yellows and limes and orangish yellow colors perfectly. How cute is that one? They're all so fun. We haven't even built our fruit yet. I love being able to mix and match between companies too, Handmade Not Hallmark. That's one of my favorite things. I very much am a mix and match kind of girl. So there are these two cards. We're gonna do all of our mugs and then, oh, I forgot to put my, uh, liquid in my mug. That's awesome. I covered it up. Well, let's see if we can slide it in here. It might be hard. Or maybe I just don't care and we're not going to have it on these. Dang it, Nicole. Well, that one, I made that work. Hi, I'm live and I forgot to do something. I love it. Let's see, Cassie said, now I need to order all the fruit confetti. Isn't it cute? I uh, just think it's the cutest thing. Let's see if we can fix this one too. We're gonna try to fix all of them. Cannot believe I forgot to add this. Think it's gonna work out though. You can't even notice. I, I, and Diana was just gonna ask. Oh, please ask. I get to lot. You know when you can't edit it because these things do happen when I am just in my room crafting away, but I can edit that out. When I'm live, not so much. Or I can quickly, not quickly, but if I need to edit and, or die cut more, I can. Okay, woo, that wasn't too bad. Hi, Liz, you're totally fine. Scrap, scrap Mars. I feel guilty about mixing and matching. Oh, don't feel guilty. Um, use it however you want. I sometimes, I just, it's one of my favorite things because you can take your favorite products from different companies and a lot of times that's 
my favorite cards. My priorities are so messed up. I watched a 30 minute video on how to make clear ice instead of folding towels. <laughs> You know, you can totally get sucked down that rabbit hole, Luna. Erica, watching you and unloaded the dishwasher. Well, mine still needs unloaded. I told the boy, but I also told him not to do it while I was live, so. Because there's always a lot of banging that goes on, and we definitely don't want to listen to that. I love a sharp piercing tool for pulling up these the back the backing oh that didn't come off very good the backing paper this waffle flower is the stickiest like I love it for shakers because I just feel like it doesn't come apart ever but it's so sticky I don't think that ends very good Apparently clear ice, it's a whole method. Well, who knew? Luna, we've learned something new now today. I did not know that. This is so funny, but the other night I was, it was kind of late, and I was watching YouTube, and whatever video I was watching, when it ended, some weird, not, I shouldn't say it's weird. It was like an informative video. It was about Versailles in France and it was talking about the history and stuff. It was almost done in a documentary type and it started playing and I was stitching and I didn't want to switch it. It was actually pretty interesting. But that's what happens when you're lazy. Kitty says Gina K has new shaker strips but she hasn't used them yet. Oh I did not know that. Okay, this is the Strawberry Banana Mix. I love the name, Strawberry Banana. This is the smoothie Ethan always wants. Maybe I need to put a little more in. I like mine really, really full. And... We're going to have all of our shakers done. Watching at work again, Beatrice said. <laughs> Beatrice, you're always watching from work. I love it. Okay, I don't think that ends sticky anymore. All right. So our last shaker is built. We're going to be ready now to add our greetings and our cute little fruit. So we've got our strawberry banana, we've got our lemon lime mix, and we have our tropical paradise or what I call the pineapple mix. So after we have these, let's make sure we build the right fruit. So also in the release, but you may already, there's lots of these out there in from different companies. This says friend. So I am using the friend shadow and I die cut the shadow from white and then the word friend from my darker green card stock, the word. And then I did already pre-stamp some little greetings that you're a sweetie that go with that. And these are all from the fruit salad or the greeting is from the fruit salad, which these are super cute, but that's where the greeting came from. Just a little bit of mixing and matching. So let's add our greeting. In fact, let's move these over to the side. Let's start with our lemon lime first. And we just need to poke out all these little pieces. The kiwi, I know, isn't it cute? I just love all the little fruit shapes. They're so cute. And this is where some tweezer, reverse tweezers come in really handy. And I did all my greetings the same. You could do different colors, but I was making it, simplifying it. 
The confettis are the cutest. <laughs> Shari says that is a good choice, the strawberry banana smoothie. He does tend to love it. My oldest loves strawberry banana smoothies too. Peyton just likes coffee. <laughs> Who doesn't? I know there's a lot. I shouldn't say that. In fact, I didn't love it until I was like almost 30. Believe it or not. I'm going to put foam just along the bottom of my greeting and I'll show you why. So before I peel off the backing, this has popped up and I want my greeting. In fact, maybe I didn't do this many. Maybe I didn't do it at all. Maybe I better look at my card. Oh, I didn't. That's dumb. Never mind. Hi, Shimon. Let's see. So ignore everything I just said. That would have been really good, but I think I did it different. Let me throw this away because I've ruined those. I'm going to put glue on the back of this and we're going to pop it in place. Yep, that's what I did. And I have the little inside or the little dot for my eye somewhere. It's super teeny tiny. I tried to put it in a safe place. There we go. So we've got our lemons and our limes. And I want to kind of figure out my placement. So I think I only did one lemon and two limes. I kind of wish I'd done two lemons. I may have to die cut another one. Here is what I'm going, my little hack for this. Tina doesn't like coffee but loves the smell. That was me for the longest time. So my hack for the, the uh, citrus slices is I'm going to put my foam here on the back and it's super, super sticky. So I did a darker yellow and then I'm going to inlay these lighter yellow and I'll show you the die too because you have to die cut it twice, which is fine. But this, because I want to, I already know I want to pop this up, that kind of eliminates the need for trying to figure out how to glue it together and there's not a base piece. If there isn't a base piece, I love to put the foam on the back because that instantly just puts or connects everything beautifully. Let's see, Askin favorite liquid glue and favorite tapes. I love seeing everybody's answers. And then I like to just put the slices around my greeting. So let's go ahead and do that. I really feel like I need another yellow one. I just don't think I thought that through very well. I'll probably just do that later, or if we have time in a little bit, we'll see. I'll put the rest of them together first. But I am going to die cut another yellow for this side instead of the green. Barely Arts is what I use most of the time for liquid, but I like um, I like the Gina K Connect, um, Hero Arts Precision, Lawn Fawn Glue. They're basically all the same, at least to me they are. They may not be, but so I shouldn't say that, but I like all of those. And again, I did a light green and a dark green for my lime. And... I'm going to do that and then I'm going to add in another yellow one in a little bit. We're just going to save this other lime slice for something else because I feel like it needs more yellow. Mm -hmm. 
Makes me want some lemonade, Shari said. Oh, so nice to see you, Dances with Who's. Have a great day. Yeah, I haven't found a good replacement either, Linda, for a tape runner. We've discussed this many times here. I basically have just been using liquid glue. I gave up. Pop out our friend greeting. I love that it die cuts it so nice and tight, I guess, but got to pop out all these little pieces. So we're going to do our pineapple card next. And what's really cute about the pineapple card Here's my pieces. There's like a, a full pineapple and obviously it's tiny, but we don't have to worry about size and scale here. It's just for fun. Uh, but there's also like some little cut pineapple slices. So I only did one full pineapple and then we're going to add the little slices. I have a dog that's sighing really loud. I think Odin doesn't think that my video is that entertaining. So judgmental, Odin. All right. These shadows make adding greetings like this to your cards so much easier. I love everyone who designs with these. So for our pineapple pieces, oh, I was going to show them. I'm so sorry. Okay, citrus I, are the lemon limes. You could also do orange slices. I think that would be cute. I think that's a cantaloupe. We've got blueberries. Here is the little pineapple piece, full pineapple. And then you can, this is little hearts. You can die cut that from there, which is what I did. Isn't that cute? Which makes it great for layering. Um, watermelon slices and then the watermelon seeds from the card that I showed earlier this week. Strawberry, uh, raspberry, and then for the strawberry, there's the little seeds that you can use to die cut from there, which we're going to put together in a minute. So lots and lots of dies are included on such a, a little set here. I am going to go ahead and layer my pineapple. Like so. And then I've got a couple, well, I had two slices. Where do you think the other oh, it is? It's going to say. Let's see how we want to do this before I start gluing. I think. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Let's get some foam. Pineapple is adorable. Okay, I think it would be really cute to do a card minus the mug and like have little boxes and have fruit in each of them, like a grid on a card front. That was one idea I had that I thought would be really cute. There's so many cute things you can do with this, honestly. I love me some little die cuts, as I'm sure we all know. We're just going to put small foam here. Luna says I'm a drinker, but then she said, oof, I mean a Dr. Pepper drinker. <laughs> Luna, you're on a roll today. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe I want that back behind. I think that might look better. 
All right, there's our little greetings for that. Let's go ahead and pop these guys down too. So this is that little sentiment. And I think while I'm gluing this stuff down, we'll just go ahead and do these too. Fruit salad, yes. So I did stamp You're a Sweetie with citrus positively saturated ink for these cards that have more of the, the yellows on them. And then I used watermelon for both the strawberries and the watermelon card. So we're clicking along. Let's do this strawberry card now. I try to keep them in the, if since they don't pop out right away, it kind of is handy for when I need to have lots of little pieces. Oh my gosh, Luna, you've been up all night. Girl, go to bed. So I love, there's a Dr. Pepper with cream, is it cream soda or something? It's the sugar-free one. Oh my gosh, it's so good, but they're hard to find. I found it at one Walmart here. I had to drive a ways to go get it. It wasn't my local Walmart. And... This is assembly line style crafting at its finest right here. Nothing better than one crafting session and four cards, or I guess we're making three on camera. The other one I already made. Oh, it's not on there. That's why it's not coming off, Nicole. Ding dong. <laughs> what are everyone's weekend plans anything fun planned or are you just going to hang out um father's day plans perhaps let me know always like hearing what everybody's doing i am going to have a quiet weekend i think my kids are going to, with their dad for uh, Father's Day dinner and their other grandparents, which is so good. Uh, so they're going to do that. I'm hoping to get lots of crafting and chores done around the house that have been neglected while I've been gone. Oh, they're turning out cute. Okay, let's build some strawberries. So for the strawberries, I die cut it solid and then I die cut the little seeds from this red solid and then I die cut a solid black. I like all the little detail and then I did die cut the top of the strawberry from a green. Relax and craft working. Working on my exterior code violations on my house. Oh. <laughs> Don't you love when they send those letters? So I moved to a new build house when I moved here four years ago and um, I, I knew that I had to get some landscaping in, but then, you know, you know what hit. And they send me a letter in February when it's still horrible cold. And they're like, you need to landscape. And I'm like, yeah, I've been in contact with the landscapers and they've given me estimates. But it's going to be when it warms up before I get my stuff <laughs> planted. <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh well. And then I see some of my neighbors and I think to myself, why were they sending me letters? That's what I think. Couple of B-Day cards to finish up. Oh, grandson's 11th birthday, Judy said, celebrating our 47th anniversary on Father's Day. Well, congratulations, Sandy, that is amazing. Let's see, Shimon, I have to work Saturday and Sunday, but we'll cross-stitch a little bit. My friends have some live streams in the evenings. Oh, yay! Did you finish getting your IKEA furniture? I did, a long time ago. I just have not filmed a video because my office is a disaster. 
all the time. All the time. I was just thinking about that the other day. That I really need to get that filmed. Apparently they don't have anything else better to do. That was like the consensus about, among the neighbors. I am not a joiner, but there is a Facebook group and I like to read what people say in it. <laughs> I'm a lurker. That's what that is, isn't it? It's a lurker. That's okay. see long summer Jen you live in Arizona but haven't done landscaping yeah it's warm that's where my parents live my dad was out rigging up something though he went out to the trash can um, this was when my mom was here a few weeks ago uh, but he called to say he'd gone out to the trash to put something in it and luckily before he made it, he heard the rattling. <laughs> so he, it was a rattlesnake. He rigged up something to try to keep the rattlesnakes from getting underneath the gate into his backyard. My dad is like, he loves landscaping and yard stuff. And he's always, he's always fiddling with something. And then he told me when they were here that he cut down some tree that he didn't like that dropped crap all over his yard. <laughs> oh, my dad. He's funny. Okay, the other new thing from the release are these awesome little confetti. I love seeing what everybody's doing. And I really liked how the green worked. I was kind of thinking, should I try to do some yellow on these cards? Guys, let me know in the comments what you think. I do think I'm going to stick with the green for the pink card, or the strawberry card, pardon me. But let me know if I should try to do yellow uh, for our citrus ones. They just have so much green on them already, I'm almost thinking that yellow might be fun. So I like to put dabs of glue all over, and then I just go in and fill in with sequins. Sequins or confetti or whatever it might be. Love the green, yellow. Yep. If we're talking about spiders, I'm probably out. We also had those when we moved into this house. They were ginormous. But we don't have those anymore. I called someone. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> mm. I get regular sprays. When they're super big and super fast, I'm out. Oh, going to make my husband dinner and cookies for Father's Day. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. And that little touch of sparkle just adds so much to the finished card. You, I need to glue it down um, to a card base too. And the other thing I did, I didn't really add too much of this, but I thought it, I just added a little bit of highlight to the straw with a white pin. You could even add it to the fruit if you want. But I felt like the straw just needed a little something. What, what's our consensus? I'm feeling like I should try the yellow, but I, oh, I got a couple of yellows. Oh, I got quite a few yellows. Well, a few, not quite a few. We're going to try one. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I don't like it. 
Let's lay them on there first and see. They are pretty shiny. I think they wash out a bit, but I don't even know if we can tell. In real life, I can tell the difference, but when I'm looking at the screen, I can't see it a whole lot. I'm just gonna glue them down. We're gonna go for it. So I do think they, it, the green washes it out a little bit when compared to the green, the green background, pardon me, washes it out. I like them. We're going to go with it. Now I need to fix my chat that I scrolled back on. Oh, Cassie, that's hilarious. She said the supplies are on their way to her now. We'll have fun making some fruit themed cards. These are just, they're really, really cute. Very fun. I'm just putting my little dots in random, random places. I felt like with this particular design, we needed a few more spread out all over. A lot of times I kind of tend to like to put them in a diagonal, but it's really anything goes. Like the yellow, I can see the difference, Danielle said. Oh, good. Just when you went live, a friend stopped for a visit, but you're back now. Hi, Donna Marie. So good to see you. Well, how dare they come for a visit right then? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. Okay, one more. And I do need to still add that other fruit, but I'm going to do that after we're live today. Since it's just some die cutting. Oh, did I not put foam on the back of this? Maybe I did. Maybe it needs more. And yes, that was me talking out loud to myself that I do sometimes. I forgot I'm live, I guess. Never mind, I can see it. What pickup tool is this? Oh, it's the Simon Says Stamp one. Barbara, they are sold out at Simon Says Stamp. I did mention that earlier. I do have, um, or you can get them at Pretty Pink Posh. I had already planned this for today, and um, quite a bit of planning goes into this. And I really couldn't come up with something better <laughs> last minute. So I went with it. But I do know that. I did look at Pretty Pink Posh and they are still in stock. Um, they were as of this morning before I went live. So you might check there. Or if you have other places that you like to shop. And there we go. I'll just glue these down to card bases. I am going to add another lemon slice because I feel like that's going to balance that side out a lot better. But four fruit themed mug shaker cards all done. Okay, did I miss anybody else's questions? If you have any questions, let me know. Do you have a link for? Barbara, I do, down in the description. It might be down further. Love the cult cards, Judy said. Thank you. Oh, that's important, Susie. Glad you went and had that done. I did that last fall. Yep, Cassie had to get hers at Pretty Pink Posh. Um, yes, I and I, sorry, I am sorry about that, you guys. Uh, <laughs> Like I said, I planned it earlier in the week when it was in stock, and now it's not. Oh, thank you. Shari's reminding everyone to give a thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let's see. Oh, thank you guys. You guys are so nice. Did I miss anybody's questions? 
So don't forget, Pretty Pink Posh is 25% off at Simon Says Stamp. I know not the things I'm using are mostly sold out, so I am sorry, but they have lots and lots of amazing products. So see if there's anything there on your wish list that you have been wanting. Um, the link to sign up for the Hero Arts Mixed Media Stamp Along is down in the description below. So I would love for you to join. That's going to be uh, July 15th, I believe. Very excited. And I know I mentioned this at the beginning of the video if you just came in. It's more of showing you guys some fun techniques that you can do with those inks and things that we all get and maybe don't know what to do. And trans for me, it's more of how do I translate this into a card? But we're going to make a fun like little art accordion book. So that is awesome. Luna says, where are the pups? They are sleeping, Luna. Um, Frank Frank got neutered yesterday, and he's tired. So he's just laying here on the floor. I'd pick him up and show you, but I'm just going to let him rest today. Oh, thank you, Luna. Jenny wants to remind everybody that Paper Tray Ink still has their grab bags for sale, which is a great deal. Um, that is amazing. So thank you for that. Um, thanks so much for you guys for joining me today. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to, to be live again. Um, I will be live again next Friday. There will be a new release from Simon Says Stamp. I haven't decided if that will be next week's live or something else. Um, I will have a product, product, projects Thursday and Sunday next week. Is that right? Well, my days are all running together with the new release. So we may see what else. I might do Lawn Fawn because Lawn Fawn's new release will be out. I'm I'm on the fence of what I'm going to do. So if you guys have something that you would especially like me to use for next week's live, drop me a comment. If you're watching the replay, drop a comment in there. I will read it. I'll probably won't make any decisions on that until maybe Monday. Okay. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, I hope you get all the crafting done that you want to get done this weekend um, for if you guys are celebrating Father's Day, your own fathers or husbands or brothers or, or whatever. Um, I hope that you guys have fun celebrations and I will see you guys all next week. Bye everyone. The supplies used in today's video are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another project that you might be interested in. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a new live video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.